you're watching this video, you're probably interested in stock photography and video. Maybe you want to see what kinds of videos sell for other contributors like myself, or you're just interested in seeing just how much money you can actually make realistically from your own images. Stick around and I'll share with you just how much money I earned from contributing my stock photography and video assets in March of 2023. And I'll show you what images sold for me too. If you're new, I am Joel, and you'll find videos like this as well as other photography and filmmaking videos on this channel. If you're digging this kind of content, I'd appreciate it by showing it with a like or even subscribe. In fact, I'm getting super, super close now to 1,000 subscribers. Why is that an important number? Well, once the channel hits 1,000 subscribers and gets 4,000 watch hours in a calendar year, then that means they can actually apply to the YouTube Partner Program and finally be able to earn a few pennies off all the ads that play in front of these videos. So I would really appreciate your help. So now was March a good month for me? Well, uh, no, March was an absolute failure and that's the short of it, right? I have to admit that my streak of no uploads has continued yet again in March and that means that those meager earnings, again, were completely passive. So you'll probably want to know how much I made. We'll stick around for just a minute and we'll get to that. But first, I will tell you why I didn't get a whole lot of stuff edited or uploaded for that matter. And that's because I was actually living in another town in Portugal for the most, for the most of March, um, as well as doing a little bit of traveling onto the location that I'm filming at right now, which is in Saranda, Albania. Basically, I've been focused pretty heavily on my little traveling as well as my travel website and my other travel YouTube channel. I did get to shoot some stuff though, which is pretty cool. Um, I've got a bunch of stock images and I did some stock video clips as well, especially towards the end of the month when we were traveling on to our next, gener uh, next destination rather. Um, that was uh, some stuff like in Faro, Portugal, and we also got to shoot a few things up in Bergamo, Italy too. So I'm hoping I can get to editing that stuff here in the next few months and maybe finally making some money from it. So now let's go ahead and get into this really disappointing month again, shall we? Um, in March, I earned $15.77 from 43 image sales and no video sales. Almost an exact copy of February. In fact, I made a few cents more in March than I did in February. So I actually thought 2023 was going to be a really good year because I had a really great start in January, if you hadn't seen that earnings video. Uh, but now I'm not so sure. I don't know, I don't know what this year is gonna be because so far it's not looking very good. So with that, let's start with some of the images that I sold in March from the stock agencies that had like really low sales. Again, if you've watched my videos, you know I like to call these my dishonorable mentions. So March's dishonorable mentions were Canva, 123RF, Deposit Photos, and Dreams Time. Here's just a few of the images that sold on those agencies. This beautiful shot is of Shipwreck Beach in Kauai, Hawaii, and that actually sold on Deposit Photos two times. This next shot is an in interior of the Van Gogh Experience, and it sold as an editorial on Deposit Photos. And here's that Land Cruiser shot. You've seen this one a whole bunch of times. You know it's my favorite. It sold again, this time on 123RF. And here we've got another aerial shot of the Seven Seas Beach in Puerto Rico. This sold on Dreams Time. Next, we've got this really cool shot of this ATV on a dirt road. And this is actually from Kauai, Hawaii. In fact, it's actually the location of several Jurassic Park films too. And it sold on Dreams Time. In total, I earned $3.34 from all of those agencies combined. Now, of course, you may not always get sales each month from all the different agencies and platforms that you contribute to. And that's no exception for me. Uh, in March, those for me were Pond5, Video Hive, I Am, LMA and Fine Art America. Next up, we're gonna talk about Wirestock. I actually sold five images on Wirestock and I had a total earnings of $2.26. Now, 88 cents of that was actually referral income and that from 45 sales. So that means that you guys had combined, had 45 sales that earned you some money. So I'm glad to see you guys are getting some earnings from that. Let me know how much you actually made from Wirestock because it, I'm guessing it's probably more than, than I made. But uh, my Wirestock portfolio in total is 
549 images and 93 videos. All right, let's start with a few images. This close-up of this close-up image of horse bridles in a tack room sold via Adobe Stock. This is another image that sold from a corporate video that I produced a few years ago. Next, we have this shot of a winery overlooking Lake Chelan in Washington State, and that also sold via Adobe Stock. These horses running in a corral sold two times through the extra channels for literally pennies. And again, this is also from the same project that I produced earlier that I talked about with the horse bridles. And if you haven't seen by now, I did do a video about wire stock and the problem with it. Um, I have a full video where I basically break down the wire stock premium subscription plan and what I think of it. You can watch the whole video if you'd like. Uh, it is, I'll put it up here in the corner. It's long, so you know, you might want to prepare yourself for that. Um, but in the end, I basically kind of break down the premium subscription and tell you why I think it is probably not the best for most people. But you can watch it and tell me if you disagree. Next up, let's talk about Adobe Stock. I had $2.59 in earnings from Adobe Stock from four image sales, which is really, really that's probably one of the lowest, <laughs> lowest number of sales that I've had in quite a while from Adobe Stock. Um, I have 629 images there, as well as 68 videos in my portfolio in March. We've got this shot of Playa Escondida in Puerto Rico. It sold twice, yet again, you probably saw it last month too. And next we have this shelter alongside a trail in the El Junque Rainforest in Puerto Rico. That brings us to Shutterstock. Now in Shutterstock, I actually had 20 downloads, which is actually on average for me um, in March, but it only brought me in $2.96 which is actually pretty low for me. That's about half what I normally bring in with Shutterstock um, for that same number of downloads. I have a 702 images and 77 videos in my portfolio there in March. And pretty much all of those images were the 10 cent variety except for two. Here are a few of the images that sold starting with those two whopping 45 cent sales. <laughs> this shot of this little village sitting between two volcanic mountain ranges was shot in the South Pacific Island Paradise of Hawaii. And then this shot here of Salzburg, Austria actually sold two times for me. And then you may have seen this one as well. This is the St. Pete Pier, and it sold five times on Shutterstock. Next, we have this aerial shot of St. Pete Beach in Florida. Next up, we have these power lines in the arid Owens River Valley of California. And finally, there's this handsome guy in the Sierra Nevada mountains again that sold last month as well. Now, before I get into my best agency for the month of March, do me a favor and give the video a like so that other people can find this content. And of course, if any of my videos have helped you at all in any way, you can show your appreciation pretty easily by just using any of the links in the description or even buying me a beer. Thanks in advance. Now, my best selling stock agency for March 2023 was iStock Getty. Now I had seven image sales in March with iStock and that brought me in a total of $4.62. My portfolio is actually really small in iStock Getty. It's only 106 images and zero videos. Now I've mentioned before in other videos, I do have some, I have more uh, other images that are on iStock through IM's partner program as well as through Wirestock but I only got these 106 that I've directly uploaded. Now here's a few that did sell. Now looking at this image, you probably want to be there right now. Caribbean views of, from a hidden beach in turquoise water is a place I'd like to be right now. You've seen this a bunch of times watching these videos. This is those palm trees silhouetted against a colorful sunset, and that sold four times for me. And you also may have seen this one too. Well, a much younger version of myself at Oktoberfest like 13 years ago, I think it was. And this is one of the few model released images I have in iStock Getty. And now here are the totals by agency. And now one more thing before we click off this video, let me know what your sales were in March in the comments below. You can also check out my other channel, The Wandering Hearts, uh, where I have a bunch of videos about some vlogs as well as like informational videos about kind of like traveling and living as a nomad. Thanks for watching and I hope this video inspires you with your own stock photography and video journey. Cheers!